can't really explain what fest until you're at what fest. It's just like one big party for two days straight. From the moment you have your car loaded up, ready to hit the road, it is electrifying. It is go, go, go the whole time from the second you wake up till the second you don't go to sleep. What fest came about in 2003 in my backyard. When a few friends got together, had a bunch of fun, decided to make a festival out of nothing. 13 years later, here we are. It's a destination music festival. It's not in you know a big city or anything like that. It's in a really small town, and that gives some cool aspects where you take a small town of 52 and then you bring in another 1,500 people, including you know over 30 bands. So you almost have uh, one band for every two residents in the town. What Fest was created to create a platform for artists that wasn't readily available uh, in Wyoming. And it was created out of a necessity, basically up there there was not a platform for young and up-and-coming artists or even, you know, artists just established, there just wasn't a lot of festivals going on. You know, we started with five, six bands on a July afternoon and 100 degree heat, not knowing what we're doing, terrible equipment, you know, amateur bands, but there was something there. There was obviously something there. The premise of our argument was not false. We filled in a void, maybe that was in Cody and in Park County and in Wyoming in general. A lot of the festivals per se that go on in Wyoming are, it's, it's really an elite group of musicians that get offered into them I and mean, it's the same, the same group of five or six bands that gets to play a lot of that when it comes to the local poll and then they get you know regional acts to come through. So there wasn't really that platform that What Fest offers. There were many festivals, but there wasn't the What Fest. When those voids are filled, you start to get a snowball effect. Traditionally, What Fest has been a nonprofit, a very affordable music festival, and that requires this huge network of volunteers. And as such as people volunteer, they become invested in the music festival. I also think it helps that we try to keep it very regional. Uh, we're not looking to grow explosively. Uh, we're looking to just keep it small and that keeps a very tight-knit group of people. Wyoming in a nutshell. It's got uh, eclectic musical taste, it's got um, art, it's got just a great bunch of people who come from every walk of life. It's just fun. It's, uh, it's awesome. It keeps you moving and you just uh, go from band to band and almost all of it's just everything you want to hear. And uh, there's, there's no opportunities like What Fest to see so many amazing Wyoming bands all in one place. And uh, I feel like at Wetfest, the musicians usually give it their all. You know, it's a, it's a thing. You gotta, you gotta give it your all. With Wetfest, we like to bring in a lot of regional acts, and 
the people that come to What Fest come from all over the state of Wyoming as well as a lot of the front range from Colorado. So when a regional act gets accepted to What Fest, it's, it's a big deal because all of a sudden they're going from probably their smaller town to uh, the entire region. That's a, a big jump. I finally found a far away smile If we could just run away then maybe Things would be fine for a while But time just goes by lately It feels like nothing changes I caught the scent of your sweet, sweet breath I think your love is contagious in these places we'll crack a bottle just to make it stop I drive to the state line just to see your smile I think Whatfest is a place to get noticed because the people who come to Whatfest, they're not coming to see Radiohead or the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They're really coming to hear some new music that they've never heard before in a variety of genres. Yeah. I just like the bands are wonderful. Um, yeah, I don't know, just everyone getting down and boogieing, you know? <laughs> They're not looking for the mainstream, they're looking for the underground, grassroots kind of music. And as such, definitely a place to get discovered. Yeah, I remember honestly, we were walking down the street and I think I checked the email on my phone, saw we got accepted and uh, I think we all kind of ran down the street, hopped around for joy. Getting accepted into that was a huge step for us. I think uh, it made us feel like we were more official and more a part of the community and like accepted amongst everybody. I had been there the year before and I had seen how awesome it was and so for us to be playing it was really cool. I was, I was super stoked for it. I think it's one of the coolest things that's come along in my life in a long time, you know, just uh, working with a group of people dedicated to, to just being a part of something that's growing like that is uh, Pretty rewarding. Yeah, I mean, the What Fest is authentic, and any band that gets to play the What Fest is uh, one of the highlights of their entire career because it's real. People are real. Uh, the music's real. It's just, it's just authentic. It's authentic Wyoming, and um, you can't ask for more. Authentic Wyoming is just real people. Nobody's, you know, nobody's looking to best one another. We're just all trying to uh, play the best music we possibly can and get the crowd to enjoy it as much as possible. And uh, then likewise, we're, when we're in the crowd, we get to enjoy the music that we're listening to. So it's a, it's a tit for tat, you know? Yeah, well, we made love up the creek by the road. Yeah, she buckled my buckle as the night sky closed. Dust as the taillights disappear. Crazy hearted, crazy hearted. Well, there's always someone to blame. Crazy hearted, crazy hearted. Well, this old boy will never be the same. Yeah, this old boy. I think what makes what fest enjoyable is uh, everybody's your friend. I mean, just hang out and meet everybody and talk to everybody and listen to all the music. I mean, Wyoming benefits from grassroots events like this. This is what we need from bottoms up. You know, the musicians started it, the sound men started it, and people who love good music started it. And as long as that's the goal, is to have good music. Uh, nobody's going to get rich off of What Fest, and, and that never was the goal. Our plans are to keep What Fest moving year after year and to maintain whatever growth comes with it. Uh, we're not looking to grow explosively, we're looking to really just grow organically and keep, maybe if anything, grow the quality of the music that we bring into it. Not so much from, you know, the more popular music, but better music that we discover throughout the area. 
As long as I'm living in Wyoming and I'm playing in a band, I hope to play what best. It's certainly entertaining, it's worthwhile, and it does make people happy. To say, oh, it's special, obviously is an understatement. It's human. And that's why I would say it's up to you, because you're human, because you're a citizen, because you're a person of this state, of this planet, and you are welcome at what fest? Like we live, we live once, Let's show an example of how we can do it in Wyoming, you know? We live in a great place. We, we're clean environment, good air, and great people. And certainly, great musical talent. Just they don't always get the opportunity to showcase that. Again, that's what fest. But if you want to show you right. most human thing I've ever been a part of it's it's to stand on a stage in between bands on a Saturday night and look out to the distance and see campfires and see revelers and glow sticks and there's always some off in the distance droning of some sort of music it's inhuman and I would hope that at some point in time or it some point in somebody's experience of what fest they can share in that because everybody who's ever attended or thought about it or talked about it or wrote about it has helped create it.